Super Mario Bros. Maker 2, the game that made people think there wasn't going to be another 2D Mario game. Remember that? Yeah, that was a thing. With Mario Maker out there, what need would there be for another Nintendo-made game? Well, there was. Super Mario Wonder, and it was wonderful. But what is there to say about Mario Maker 2? Honestly, not much. It released on June 28th, 2019. It's been almost five years. It's the perfect Mario editing tool. Okay, maybe not perfect, but it's a very easy to use and really shows off the creativity of people. There's some really good stuff out there. And I just so happened to run into a very competently made creator's levels and world. G.W. Drew, he made a whole Mario game, and it's good. Super G.W. Drew World. This dude made a pretty competent and fun Mario game. Like, it was a blast to play through. The thing with Mario Maker is that all music and graphical assets are already provided. Obviously, I'm not going to bring that into the equation. He used the assets, though, to form out levels that were very well delivered and cohesive. There was a difficulty curve that I thought was fair and well implemented. For the exception of two levels that I happened to die a lot, getting through them, though, was very rewarding. Drew starts us off with a typical Mario level that I really felt it could have come from Nintendo themselves, but then he has neat little deviances that keep the whole experience fresh. As for the three worlds provided, you have this little island that kicks off the game, that's followed by a snow overworld, and then the last one is this one right here. You see the princess there shrieking from the castle, letting you know that you're close to the finish line. I'm not big on scavenger-like levels with red coins, and it was refreshing to see well-implemented use of them. One level is centered around Super Mario Land, and you have to use proper aiming to use the projectiles to obtain the red coins. It took me two deaths to realize this. I ended up soft-locking myself here. This haunted level with the plants was so frustrating. But not impossible. It felt really good to make progression and eventually beat this level. I didn't get a game over, but I would say a good 70% of my deaths came from this freaking level alone. Look at this craziness here. This level leaned on the more difficult side, but it was a blast to go through. Anyway, I enjoyed thoroughly my time with this, and if you're looking for a good tight package within the Super Mario Maker 2 content, then give this a go. I think you will be pleasantly delighted to what Drew has made here. There are some really good and difficult stuff out there, especially things that cater to Kaizo Mario fans, or something that would fit better with the world of Rayman Legends or Donkey Kong Country. It was nice to go through a whole experience where platforming and learning the mechanics presented before you were the focus. Those Kaizo Mario levels, I do find them fun, but they're not for me. There's a reason story-driven games cater to my taste more. Plug in the code, give it a whirl, and feel free to come back and let me know if this was a good recommendation. Are there any other worlds that you would recommend to me to go through? Type that code in the comments for others to check out to include myself. I look forward to seeing what else I can tackle from this Mario Maker creator. I will admit, like, once I finished it, I really wish that there were at least four worlds, or, you know, eight. But anyway, that's all for now. Thank you for watching, and until next time.